Good evening. Um, my name is Chris Haverberger, and I'm a seminarian for the Diocese of Austin. I'm in my first year of pre-theology studies at Holy Trinity Seminary. Um, I'm here with Isaiah Minky, who is also a seminarian from our parish, um, and it's a great joy for us to be with you. Uh, we've been asked to share a little bit about our stories and introduce ourselves to you, um, give you an update on how our seminary studies are going um, this weekend. So as many of you know, I, I, am, I, I am from this parish, but I'm not originally from this parish. I grew up in New Jersey at a much smaller parish in a wonderful family, and that's where the foundation of my vocation started. It's where it was laid in the very routine going to Mass and going to Sunday school and all of those things. But it wasn't until I came to this parish where my vocation really flourished. Um, And it's because of you. It's because I was welcomed here three years ago, three and a half years ago, uh, when I came to this parish and accepted, Darren got me to work as the middle school youth minister. He finally convinced me to do it. And it was you welcoming me into this parish, welcoming me into this community, that I came to understand what it meant to be part of a a parish family and to be part of a community. And I began to see what love I had for parish ministry. Then as I continued to work here and develop an appreciation for spiritual leadership and working working in ministry and leading others through and helping others through various things and teaching them the faith, I realized what it meant and what a gift it was to be a spiritual father. And as I continued to work here and continued to take all of these things to prayer, it became evident to me that the only thing that I could do was apply to seminary and to begin the journey of discernment that would lead me to where I am now in seminary. Um, And you know, seminary is is a very special place. It's a privileged place where a man can go in a privileged time in a man's life where a man can go and to, to spend time in prayer, to spend time in a community of men who are growing and seeking the Lord and seeking his will for their lives. And it's been a tremendous blessing for my first semester at Holy Trinity Seminary to be there. But it's an even greater blessing to come back here and to be standing here today and to see all of you and to remember what it's all about and why I applied to seminary in the first place. You know, if there's one theme that has kind of been reoccurring in my discernment, especially over this last semester, it's that the Lord is never outdone in generosity. When we give just a little bit, he gives us so back so much more. And so this invitation I extend to all of you, to our young people, consider the priesthood. Consider religious life. Because when we take those little steps, the Lord is never outdone in the generosity that he wants to show us. And to all of us, to take those small steps in our paths to holiness, whatever that may look like in your life and in your state in life right now. The Lord is never outdone in that generosity. For those of you who are considering a vocation to the priesthood or to the religious life, or you know somebody who is and you want to be able to support them, please consider this your personal invitation to visit the Austin Vocations website, godiscalling.me. Again, that website is very simple, godiscalling.me, where you can find a bunch of information, resources, and you can contact our vocations director, Father Greg Gerhardt. Um, I can promise you that taking the little steps has been the best thing that I've ever done. I also want to take this time to thank you, each and every one of you, for fostering the culture of vocations that we have at this parish. Um, Isaiah and I and Thomas Swerick also are only the most recent in a long line of seminarians from this parish. And we trust and we pray that that's going to continue. But that doesn't happen on accident. It's because of each and every one of you helping to foster that in our parish and praying for an increase in vocations and praying for each one of us. And so I want to thank you for your prayers. I want to thank you for your support as well. Please continue to pray for me and all of the seminarians for the Diocese of Austin. And God bless all of you. Amen.